okay, hi year five, hope you're all keeping well. I just thought I'd take this chance to recap long multiplication with you. I have put a pause button on some of the slides, just so you know that you're gonna have the chance to pause me and have a go yourself. So be ready with a piece of paper and a pencil to practise. So, I've set up my long multiplication like this. I can probably hear you right now shouting at the computer because I've put my zero in there. I've put that in there because I will be multiplying by a 10. That's a key fact that we need to remember. For the first few slides, I put it in there for you. I'm going to start, first of all, by multiplying by my four, by my unit, my one. Six times four is 24. We have to make sure that we're really, really neat and keep to our columns, otherwise we're going to make some unnecessary mistakes. Four times five is 20. Don't forget the two, add them in, which gives us 22. Four twos are eight, plus the two on the doorstep, that is 10. Four times seven is 28, plus one is 29. I've completed my multiplication of the ones. I'm now going to multiply by my 10. Magic zeros there, just what I need. Three times six is 18. Popping my one down there. Three fives are 15, plus one is 16. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. And three times seven is 21. I've got nothing to add here. I now need to add these all together. Four plus zero is four. Two plus eight is 10. Remember to put the one down on the doorstep. Six plus one is seven. Nine plus seven is 16. Two plus one plus one is four. And two plus zero is two. We can put the comma in for our answer. So we know 7,256 multiplied by 34 is 246,704. Let me show you one more. As you're going to have your chance in a moment, I've put a top tip there. Remember to set out your columns accurately. Otherwise, your multiplications will be incorrect. Again, I'm going to start with my ones. Two times three is six. Two times six is 12. Remembering to put that down on the doorstep ready to add in. Two times five is 10 plus one is 11. Two multiplied by four is eight plus one is nine. Magic zero is in place. I'm multiplying by 10. Five times three is 15. Five times six is 30 plus one is 31. Five times five is 25 plus three is 28. Five times four is 20 plus two is 22. My last step is to add these together. Six plus zero is six. Two plus five is seven. One plus one is two. Nine and eight is 17. Two and the one on the doorstep make three. Two and zero is two. So 4,563 multiplied by 52 is 237. 1,276. Okay, the pause button is there, so in a moment you may pause me, have a go at this calculation, remember, set out your columns neatly, and don't forget magic zero. And here's your answer. 5,191 multiplied by 78 is 404,898. How did you do? Let's practice some more. This time I've put out another top tip, okay? Set out your columns accurately, remember to add zero when multiplying by a 10. I've set my columns out so my ones are directly in line with each other and my tens and I can clearly see my hundreds and my thousands. Again, always start multiplying with the ones. Two times three is six, two times eight is 16, two times 
three is six plus one is seven. Two times four is eight. Magic zero in place. Three times three is nine. Three times eight is twenty-four. Three times three is nine plus two is eleven. Three times four is twelve plus one is thirteen. Add them together. Six and zero is six. Six plus nine is fifteen. Seven and four is eleven plus one is twelve. Eight plus one plus one is ten. Four plus one is four. And one and nothing else is one. Put my comma in there so I know that 4,383 times 32 is 140,256. Again, the calculation here is for you to do.